Crutch will play the third. Taj Crutch. Ron Taylor Rock. Melissa A. Mitchell. Paco Sando. My name is Valerie Blaze. Sophia Danero Potier. Sylvester Novo. Afropunk means a lot to the culture because Afropunk is the culture. Shopify means so much to the culture because we like to buy things. Black Accelerate programs are important to exist because Black people are not put on pedestals enough. So it's really important for these kind of huge corporations to back us up and help us navigate. We are kind of the pioneers, so it's exciting to be part of the very first group. Um, and then just being based in Minneapolis, Minnesota, it's not a big fashion city. So just to have that exposure nationally, um, it's exciting. It's something that's uh, definitely going to propel my brand. It feels amazing to be picked by Afropunk and Shopify's Build Black community. In this accelerator program, I've learned to be more confident with my decision-making skills. I learned money management. I learned how to um, get in contact with press correctly. I was not expecting this. And once again, it's one of those things that I said, it's a blessing in my life. And that's part of what went into this collection. So the name of the collection we'll be showcasing is called uh, EDC, so African Fashion. Traditionally, everybody uses something that's not stretchy, something that's very rigid, um, but this one is very comfortable, very breathable. So basically, everyday comfy. The name of the collection is Masego. It kind of combines the spirited nature of Africa and also the innovative nature of African people. So the collection is called the Afronauts Collection. It's a mix between Afrofuturism as well as vintage clothing. So the whole concept behind our collection is imagining that the African Union hired Mizizi to outfit the Afronauts for the African Space Agency. Name my collection is Desita. Um, it is inspired by Amharic um, Ethiopian culture. Um, I'm a sustainable brand, so I like to source dead stock material as much as I can. I use a lot of satins and silks within my collection. That's been very fun. And I also obviously have sourced a little bit in Ethiopia and the Philippines as well. My brand is called Wear Brims. All of our brims are made out of 100% wool. Uh, the aesthetic of our bands can be anywhere from velvet, cashmere, linen, and suede. We usually don't use the, the ribbon style bands like a lot of fedora brands do. My current collection is called Guided by Bloom. It's inspired by florals and new fabrications for spring. The materials that I use are leather, of course, but they are dead stock leather from Italy. Leather that's left over from major luxury brands and recycle it back into fashion. So as a woman, I love things that are easy to put on. When I came up with this collection, I said, what's the easiest way that I can get dressed in five minutes? And so I came up with easy breezy uh, fabrics that don't need a lot of ironing. I found pants that are very, very free flowing. Um, very forgiving, so whether you had a lot during quarantine or not, um, I just wanted people to feel good. Yeah, I felt really good about the fitting. I just um, got to meet the models in person, all beautiful black women. Um, all of the women fit beautifully in the clothing. I'm just excited in general that these models are gonna be wearing the clothes and just to kind of see them showcase it tomorrow in our show. The fitting process was uh, really smooth, real smooth. We understood what type of models we wanted to use already for our looks. The fitting directors already had an aesthetic already on their end, so it kind of merged together and made the process very simple. I didn't have any worries about the fitting because a lot of our pieces are multifunctional. They can be worn in different ways. So we're showing a wrap skirt and a wrap top that can be reversed. So you have a print on one side, you've got a solid color on the other. Of course, COVID had us locked down for two and a half years. So having people see my bags and my brand assets in person is extremely important.
The goal that I had going into this program was to be more confident in business. Having speakers come in that gave us insight into how they did it and how we can adopt the same uh, tactics that they use. To the importance of building our network and making sure that we're using the network, building genuine connections within our network and not just asking for favors or handouts. As a business owner or as a founder, you just gotta keep pushing, right? There's gonna be a lot of mistakes, but everything is sort of like uh, you're learning as you go. Focus on the basics. I mean, that's something that you always need to make sure as you're growing and as you're scaling that you're only as good as your basics, like the simple, the simple things. The simple things matter the most. For us to get collaborations and have companies be on our forefront and helping us out is extremely, extremely important because we, we learn from them and we gain resources and, and information too. A lot of people um, miss opportunities because they don't believe they don't deserve them or they just don't have the guts to believe. You miss every opportunity that you don't try for. Creativity can come from anywhere. It can come from anybody, anything, and it's a matter of just actually like paying attention to your surroundings so that you can utilize it and apply it to whatever it may be.